Hi there, I'm Chris and welcome you to the third episode of the NIOS Opus 300 installation guide. In the last two episodes, we set up the tank and installed the hardware. In today's episode, we will show you how to properly fill your tank with water. We will add sand and rocks to build an awesome aquascape. And that is what you need. 10 kg salt mix like Nias Pure Pure, around 300 liter RODI water, between 15 to 25 kg of live rock, 10 kg sand, Nias Reef Cement, a seawater refractometer and some buckets. And now we're gonna rock. To build an awesome aquascape, we need about 15 kg of artificial or natural rock. It's important to have good quality in order to have a good running tank. Place the rocks in your tank. We recommend to build your aquascape before adding water. Place the rocks directly on the glass or on an egg crate. Do not place your rocks on the sand. If you are satisfied with your aquascape, fix them with nice reef cement. Next, add sand to your tank. If you use dry sand, make sure to rinse it before adding. Live sand should be used out of the bag. And now it's time to get wet. You'll need around 300 liter of seawater. It has to have a salinity of 35. And it's important to check that with a refractometer. To fill the tank, it's essential that you follow the next steps. First, double check the correct installation of your plumbing and make sure that all screwings are tightened. Close the valve clockwise. Fill the overflow box with seawater to check that nothing is leaking. Open the valve to the maximum by turning it counterclockwise. Start filling your main tank and be careful not to swell up your sand bed. When the display tank is almost filled, the sum starts to fill with water. When the water level in the return chamber is around 20 cm, turn on your return pump. Monitor the level and add salt water if necessary. Now you have to adjust the valve setting. By turning clockwise, the valve closes. This increases the water level in the display tank. To lower the water level, the valve must be turned counterclockwise, so that the valve opens. Note, it will take a few minutes for the water level to adjust to the valve settings. The valve is set correctly when the overflow becomes quiet. Once the water level is stable, you can fill the auto top of system with RODI water. Plug in your flow pumps, adjust the skimmer and turn on the lighting. Our tank is now cycling. It needs some time to get the biological system running. Normally it takes 3 to 4 weeks. You can shorten the break-in period by using Nia Zero and Nia Buck. Watch the next episode, which is about water parameters, cleaning crew and corals. <laughs>